All right, um, number one, we're in 4.3b. These are direct and inverse variation. Um, it says y varies directly as the square root of x. Okay, so when we're given direct variation, okay, the equation is y equals k times x. This is the general form, okay? So it says y varies directly as the square root of x. They don't say anything about this k value, but you need to know that it's there. There's a constant always. So we're going to do y equals k and then the square root of x, because it says the square root of x. And it tells you that y is 40 when x is 36. Okay, so I'm going to say y is 40 equals k times square root of 36. We're going to plug that in. This will allow us to solve for k. So we're going to solve for k first. Um, square root of 36 is 6. So I get that 40 is equal to 6k. All right, and then to solve for k, we will divide both sides by 6. And doing so will give us that 40 over 6, or if I reduce, we get 20 divided by 3 is equal to the k value. Okay, so I have figured out what k is. Now, we want to know what is the y value. So I want to know y equals what when x is 184. Okay, so now that I know k, I'm kind of going back to my original my original um, equation, y equals k times x. I know k now, so I can plug it in, 20 divided by 3, and then times the square root of 184. So I just plug in the k, and I plug in the x, and I just evaluate this with the calculator, and that will give me the y value. How do you think about the other Just second mode. We'll get you to the home screen. So I'm going to hit second mode to get back. And I'm going to type in this equation that we have just wrote. 20 divided by 3. So in parentheses, I'm going to do 20 divided by 3. And then times the square root of 184. And we want to round off to two decimal places. So we're going to say 90.43.